What's up everybody? It's been a long minute. It's Sam Dunn here for Overkill Reviews on Banger TV in the Banger Bar. Don't know where to start. It's been a long time. Let's just get into it. But before I do the review that we're here for, I'm sneaking this in. My buddy, Jason Flower, Supreme Echo Records in my hometown of Victoria, BC, is in the business of re-releasing some classic demos. And the latest is from some top-notch Vancouver Island, late 80s thrash metal, deranged place of torment. Listen to this. Clearly I'm biased, but I think that's pretty good quality from the old island a little creator meets sadist thrash metal magic. But anyway, enough with the plug. I'm here to talk about a big release from one of the biggest metal bands on the planet. That's right, it's Gojira Fortitude, released today on Roadrunner Records. You know I don't need to give the full story. Formed in 96 in the south of France, this is their seventh full-length record. And over that period of time, these guys have just gone leaps and bounds in terms of popularity and embracing within the metal community and beyond. Definitely on their last record, started to lean in a slightly more accessible, dare I say slightly more commercial, direction. So let's see what they do this time around. Before we get into the specific record, a little personal history with this band. Many of you may know, I love Gojira. From Mars to Sirius, The Way of All Flesh, and L'Enfant Sauvage. That triumvirate, that trilogy of records for me was some of the most solid metal put out at that time, and particularly L'Enfant Sauvage was part of my best metal albums of the decade of 2010 to 2020. Have loved this band, really identify with their particular brand of proggy, death metal-y kind of stuff, and yeah, I like what they have to say as well. So coming into an album like this, big expectations, big hopes. So let's see what they do this time around, but to help me do it, I got a secret weapon. Beside me in the banger bar is my son, age nine, Rory Dunn, to help me get some perspective from the new generation of metal fans on this latest album from Gojira. So in general, buddy, like what did what do you think of the of the album? It's really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's your favorite part of the band? Drums. Yeah? Yeah. Like, what is it about it that pulls I you I like in? how he's, um, like, really, really fast. Like, he does slow beats, but then he does fast fills, and it's, it's really cool. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah, you spend a lot of time air drumming in the car to Gojira, right? Yeah. <laughs> what is it that you like about the album? Well, um, probably my favorite songs... Amazonia. Mm -hmm. I like how it starts with the fast bass drum. Yep. I really like that. What's that song about? The Amazon mm -hmm. and like what's happening, mm -hmm. destruction of it. And what what's the band saying in that song about the destruction of the Amazon? Like stop cutting down more trees and just pull off. Or, yeah, yeah, hold off. And you were saying also something about the combination of the slow guitar and the fast drumming. Yeah, so I like how there's like really slow, cool electric guitar and then how the 
the drums come in with like a fast drum roll and then the drumming starts to get faster. What about that song, Into the Storm, you like, too? Like, what, what, I like what's how that song? It, I like how it started with the, with the train tracks, with, with the train. That's cool. And then that one has the fake, fast, fast bass drumming, too. So for starters, the four advanced tracks on this record before today's release obviously gave us a taste of what this album had to offer. And I would say, much like Magma, these were some solid tracks and very consistent with the sound of Magma, where we're getting pieces of that real technical, super proficient, low-down metal but at the same time, we're getting some of that more ethereal, atmospheric, bigger sounds coming particularly from Joe in the vocal department. And that's really what I'm hearing more than anything on this record is in the vocals, we're seeing a lot of expansion, a lot of layering. And once you've heard the rest of the album, it's also pretty clear that those four lead tracks, maybe not surprising, are four of the more heavier tracks on this album. So once you sort of initially lift the hood, it's like, okay, Magma-esque, but you dig deeper, and this is a band that's reaching out. This is a band that is expanding. This is a band that is, it's clear, no longer strictly committed to the orthodoxy of metal in any way. So for fans of Magma, this will be very welcome. But if your favorite album is, say, From Mars to Sirius, maybe not so much. And to give this a bit of context, Gojira is doing something fairly similar that we're seeing in bands of their metal generation. I'm thinking particularly Mastodon, Opeth, Lamb of God, all bands that really started to make their major mark in the early 2000s. And what we're seeing with all of those bands is a vast broadening of the sound. And I would argue, maybe a bit too philosophically, is in the world of declining record sales, whether conscious or not, clearly these bands, and I think Gojira is included here, are really thinking about what's this music gonna sound like on stage in front of a big audience and what are the opportunities do we have to expand our sound in that environment why well because we can always go to the cutthroat tunes of two or three albums ago so perhaps no huge surprises here given the direction that the band was going in on magma but enough from me let's see what rory's verdict is before I give my verdict, we got to check in with the real expert in the room. Uh, Rory, what's your skull rating on the new Gojira album? 3.5. Is that right? 3.5? Yeah. Tougher than his old man. Check that out. New generation expecting a lot from their metal bands. Thanks, buddy. Good job. So for me, given that I'm not nine and coming into this review with a little more baggage on this band, Again, not one of my favorite Gojira albums. I like a handful of the songs. Born for One Thing is strong. Sphinx is strong. Into the Storm. I'm always gravitating to some of the more heavier tracks. And those are the parts and the elements and the ingredients and the spirit of Gojira that I love most. But when I take a real big step back, this is still one of the best bands on the planet. You go and see them live and they will destroy they will continue to put out great albums, even if they aren't churning out some of that real super heavy, chuggy death metal that we knew and loved them for a little while ago. I'm gonna be a little bit more charitable, getting softer in my old age. Four out of five skulls on Banger TV. Oh,